Scientists at Colorado State University have successfully made a polymer that is both biodegradable and completely recyclable. This means we're really close to having plastic containers that won't harm the environment, so you can throw all your old ones away. Get rid of them. In the trash. Four new elements have just been added to the periodic table. Element 113, Element 115, Element 117, and Jim J. Bullock for the block. Every time I go to the supermarket, I can't leave without someone giving my daughter a balloon. Our apartment is full of these floating equivalents of junk mail. I would like to refuse these balloons, but who can take away a balloon from a sweet little girl like my daughter? And what happens to the balloon if I send it back? The only, the only thing sadder than a kid who has a balloon taken away is a balloon no one wants. You ever see that French movie? What's it called? So, we get a lot of balloons. But it turns out there is something sadder than a child without a balloon, and that's a world without helium. Now, of all the things we're running low on these days, patients, quality political candidates, water, the plight of helium might seem like another inert cause, but let's take a look at this before it floats away from us. First of all, the very fact that we're having a shortage of helium is almost a Shakespearean tragedy. Helium is the second most abundant substance in the universe next to hydrogen. However, on Earth, it's a very finite resource. And just like my hairline these days, once we use it all up, it's gone. Put on a toupee. I know what you might be thinking. So what? We'll have to put balloons on sticks and wave them around for giggles. No big deal. Yes! Big deal! Helium does much more than fill balloons. It's the coldest liquid known to science. This property alone makes it unbelievably valuable to all sorts of research as well as technological advances. Without helium, MRI machines will no longer work as helium is used to cool the magnets. That means cancer will be harder to detect without helium and lives might be lost. Helium is a vital part of subatomic physics as it enables substances to be cooled at close to absolute zero, minimizing molecular movement. Helium can be used for space travel, or we can just use it to blow up Mickey and Minnie for the Macy's Day Parade. Most of the world's helium is here in the United States Helium Reserve, which is a cave full of, full of helium that Bill Clinton decided to sell back in the 90s. Well, the government didn't know the best way to sell helium, so it, 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 it thought it would just sell it to recover the cost of obtaining the helium, which undercut all the helium producers in the world. Now the U.S. helium reserve will all be gone in 2021, which sounds like the future, but it's only five years away. Now, that's not all the planet's helium. We probably have another hundred years of helium somewhere on the planet, you know, under stacks of mail, in the closet, out in the yard. But unfortunately, we have to find it. Other countries are starting to supply helium, but they're the kind of countries who ha don't really have stable governments and their primary uh, export is oil. So it's about to get real expensive and not as quick to come by, which means you might want to get all your MRIs out of the way in the next five years and hold on to those balloons. They could be worth something. As a side note, we could mine helium off the moon as uh, there's a lot of it there. Unfortunately, helium is used in rocket fuel, so we need helium to get to the moon. We better get there fast, before 2021. 